Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be benchmarking slash showcasing Fallout 3 Game of Year Edition on the GTX 1650. So we are just playing at the 1080p ultra high preset since this is an old game so obviously shouldn't be any issues playing at higher settings. And as you can see it is running very well. Um, we're getting basically 70s, 80s, sometimes 90s, and um, the GPU usage isn't even maxed out. Um, when I was playing I was only at like 50% GPU usage. Um, I'm not 100% sure why, but regardless the game works extremely well anyway. Definitely um, advise you to play at max settings on this graphics card and it's a great experience. It's I don't have anything and you're listening to Encore bad Radio, to say. The voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. So yeah. And of course this is the latest game available for free on Epic's Game Store. Definitely recommend you to check it out and it does run really well on a large range of um, computers and devices due to the game's age. So. Yeah, if you want a really good game that runs very well on lower end computers, including like integrated graphics, then you can't go wrong with Fallout 3. Um, remains a fantastic title. Oh. What's this looks like? So, yeah. Now I'm not going to change the settings because you can't actually do that in game. I'd have to, which is a little bit annoying. But to be honest, there isn't any point in really playing um, on any lower than ultra on a graphics card like this, especially since, like I said before, the GPU wasn't even maxed out. So you may as well just play on. Um, Max settings. And as you can see, it yeah, it, it really shouldn't drop below like 70. I, I really don't think it'll drop below 60. It's no issues. So I think that's gonna be all for this video. It's just made this to kind of give you a, just just a little idea of how you can expect it to run on the GTX 6050. As you can see, there's obviously no problems. You wouldn't expect there to be. Um, And yeah, again, the GPU isn't even maxed out here. Because I don't think the... Um, I think it could be a CPU bottleneck, actually. Because I, I don't think the game kind of like uses many like CPU cores or something like that. So it kind of... Um, means that the game isn't able to fully max out GPUs all the time. Either that or I don't know, it might be because... It, game running on Windows 11 or whatever but it is what it is but the performance is still pretty good so I wouldn't really complain. But what's this? Wastelander. Anybody there? Hmm. Why are they glitching Nothing around like that? I'm a bit confused. Oh no Where did they get shot from? Oh! Oh, sheesh! Oh, great. I see. Sam, Roy, what are you doing? This guy's powerful as well. Looks like he's hidden himself. Anyway, I think that's going to be all for this video. As you can see, no problems on this graphics card. So I hope you found this informative, and I'll be back with more benchmarks, basically, indeed.